Tell us Hi, who Carla, are the main contenders in these elections? Will there be a clear-cut um, majority or will there be a coalition government? Uh, so there are two main parties uh, currently competing in elections that are scheduled for Wednesday. Uh, the incumbent, Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, um, who recently had uh, their main leader and prime minister disqualified in a corruption scandal. Um, and the opposition party, the Pakistan Tariq and Saf, which translates roosy to the Pakistan Movement for Justice, uh, led by anti-corruption crusader and former uh, sports star uh, Imran Khan. Um, and uh, if you go by survey data and opinion polling, uh, especially from the last three months, it seems that no one party will be able to uh, command a majority um, in, in, in the election scheduled for Wednesday. And we are heading towards uh, what is essentially going to be a hung parliament. Um, and it, it, it looks increasingly like that, this, uh, that the largest party in parliament um, will be uh, from the opposition, uh, the current opposition, Pakistan, Tehri Kenta, and it is likely that they will end up leading the coalition government um, you know, uh, after, after the elections take place. So we hear a lot about the young Pashtun leader, Mansoor Pashtin. Tell us why he's making waves in the country. So Mansoor Pashtin uh, is, is a very important uh, recent political figure who's emerged um, in, on the political landscape in Pakistan. And, and part of the reason for his popularity is that he's taken on the historically powerful military establishment in Pakistan. Um, and he's uh, raised some important questions regarding the military's relationship um, with uh, Islamist militants, especially in the border areas, uh, in the Pashtun border areas between Pakistan and Afghanistan. And uh, for, a, for a young Pashtun leader to openly challenge the military in Pakistan uh, like this is, is largely unprecedented. And, uh, and so uh, he's, he's, he's grown in popularity. Uh, he, he's traveled the country uh, despite heavy censorship uh, and, and obviously for the attempts by the military to stop him in various ways. Uh, he has still managed to uh, gain considerable popularity uh, you know, in different parts of the country. So with all these issues going on and the international community looking on, are there expected to be any international observers to maintain an integrity during the vote? Uh, so the European Union has deployed uh, a 60-member team uh, that will monitor the, monitor the elections. Uh, there are a number of concerns that have already been raised about the fairness of the election process, uh, given that the military has seemed to be siding with the opposition parties at this point. Uh, the European Union uh, observers were not given visas to enter Pakistan um, uh, till very recently, uh, and they've made it very clear that these elections, uh, there are certain irregularities that have already taken place. Uh, but it remains to be seen whether the polling day process itself, uh, which is going to be on Wednesday, whether that's carried out um, in a free and fair manner. And, you know, everyone is waiting to see whether the reports uh, that the European uh, Union observers publish, whether they make a judgment call on whether the election was fair or not. Thank you very much, Mayor.